Hi, and welcome to the Tough Question, where we approach an expert with a head scratcher so you can better understand China. China is stepping up efforts to address the climate crisis alongside other nations. With goals of reaching peak carbon emissions by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060, China faces historic challenges. So what contributions has China made to tackling global climate change in recent years? And what are the likely challenges China will face in achieving carbon neutrality by 2060? Let's ask Qi Ye, a distinguished professor of environmental policy and management at Tsinghua University, to answer these questions. Hey, Professor Chi. Hi, it's very nice to be with you. Uh, let's talk about these questions. Uh, excellent questions indeed. And first of all, talking about China's contribution to the world effort to address climate change. 2009, uh, before the Copenhagen conference, China made a major commitment to reduce the carbon intensity by 40 to 45 percent. Uh, compared from the year 2005 to 2020, last year. So by last year, China actually overachieved that target. Over the last 40 years, ever since 1980, China has been increasing the energy efficiency by 5% a year, basically to reduce the energy intensity every 5% every year. So that is a major contribution to the world effort to uh, climate change. By far, China is the largest developing country in the world. While addressing climate change threat, China also has a huge uh, burden to improve the livelihood of its people. But overall, in the next 40 years, we see China first we have to achieve the carbon peak by 2030, and uh, 30 years after that to achieve carbon neutrality. This leaves a very short period of time for China. Look at the United States. That's 45 years from the carbon peak to carbon neutrality. Europe, the entire EU, that's a 60 years. To address this challenge, and we need the technological innovation, we need to, to put in huge huge investment. And here we're talking about half of the, the technology are not yet developed. This is not just for China, this is also for the entire world to, to work on the technological innovation. In the meantime, we're talking about the uh, some are losers, some are winners over this the course of a carbon neutrality. And the industry with a fossil fuel uh, based industry talking millions of uh, the people who will probably have to lose their job or shift to different different jobs and, and through training and uh, this, this is also a, a major a major challenge uh, socially and politically and to address these challenges first of all and uh, we need to, to build a consensus among the entire society right among all levels of a government and also between the government, the businesses, and also the general public. And to understand this is the target we're aiming for and we have to achieve, not only for addressing climate change, but also for transforming the entire economy from now, you know, more of a polluting and a high input economy into a high quality development with a lower emission, lower input, and high, higher quality, and a better environment. So this is the challenge, and this is also the opportunity you know, for China to make the transition of the economic development model. A big thanks to Professor Chi for digging into the topic of carbon neutrality and how China plans to accomplish this. China has made very big strides in reducing carbon emissions but there are still a number of hurdles for the country to overcome on its journey to carbon neutrality. But there is no doubt that the nation is taking strides towards its 2060 goal. Thanks for watching. 
and I hope to see you back here for another episode of The Tough Question.